In this video, we're going to talk about a very important statistic, linear correlation. Here's a scatter plot of y against x. Clearly, there's some relationship between x and y. It's often a good approximation to assume that there is a linear relationship between two data sets. A linear relationship is described by the equation y is equal to m times x plus c for some fixed numbers m and c. We'll come back to this simple equation a lot in later lectures, so keep it in mind. So, consider the two scatter plots here. Clearly, the relationship on the left is somehow more linear than the one on the right. The correlation coefficient is a number which attempts to quantify this. This is the formula for the correlation coefficient. It's often denoted by the Greek letter rho. So it's important to remember that previously we've been working with one column of data, and now we're looking at two, x and y, and we're studying the relationship between them. So the mean and the standard deviation of the x and y data points are different. We'll denote one by x bar and sigma x, and one by y bar and sigma y. Once again, let's break down this formula. The term yi minus y bar over sigma y is called a standard score. It measures the deviation of a data point from the mean divided by the expected deviation sigma. Using standard scores puts both data sets on the same footing. So for example, say x was years of education, so typically that would vary between zero and 10, and let y be salary, which would vary somewhere between zero and Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos levels in the billions. A difference of five years in education is quite significant, but a difference of five pounds is not. Standard scores address this issue so that we can compare quantities independent of units. So we measure if xi or yi are small relative to their corresponding means. And if that's the case, then their standard scores will be negative. If they're larger than their means, then their standard scores will be positive. So now we consider what happens when there is a linear relationship between x and y. So let's say whenever xi is small, that is less than the mean, then we also observe that yi is small. In that case, both standard scores are negative and their product is positive. If we observe that whenever xi is big, that means it's larger than the mean, uh, so is yi. In that case, both standard scores are positive and their product is positive. In this case, the sum will be large and the coefficient, correlation coefficient ends up close to one. One is the maximum value this, this quantity can take, as you'll be asked to prove in the exercises. Positively correlated data looks like this. We also have two other cases which correspond to negative and zero correlation. So the rightmost panel shows negative correlation. The meaning of negative correlation is that there is a relationship between x and y, but whenever the value of x increases, the value of y decreases. So it's a linear relationship or with a negative slope. The final case is zero or near zero correlation. This is when there is no relationship between x and y. In this case, the value of x doesn't tell us what happens to the value of y, and the correlation coefficient will be near zero.